Hey, it's Dr. Rosie, and I want to share you this amazing case that came across uh, to me a few months ago. Uh, we're still on the journey, so be part of it. I'll do two parts. So this is the first part and the second part for the final finale. So this is a patient that found me, of course, on TikTok, and I'm so glad that he did. He came from about an hour and a half away, and a young, great guy. He's like 21, 22, and was just really unhappy, as you can see. This is what he came in as. He was really embarrassed about his smile, and I could tell because every time he spoke with me, he wasn't really willing to smile and just afraid to show off his teeth. And of course, what happened was he had these root canals done. Fortunately, unfortunately, he didn't finish the whole procedure. He didn't get the crown. So it was just temporary fillings in there at the time being, but they started to crumble. And of course, they darkened over time. So hence, that's why you see that darkness. And I look at the teeth as, Teeth are so beautiful and you have to really look at for the beauty behind it. I mean, they're just like furniture. Um, sometimes you gotta move them around, they look really nice. Sometimes you gotta clean them up. They look amazing after a few dusting here and there. And I told them, I said, look, you got a great structure. The teeth are great. And I know some dentists would of course said, let's just put veneers top and bottom, you know, 10 on top, 10 on bottom and call it a den day. And I looked at it more of how is this going to work out for him, at, especially being at such a young age. I mean, when you get veneers, just to let you guys know, you're looking at to change those out maybe every 10, 15, 20 years. They're like boob jobs. You gotta change them out. And they do discolor, they do change. So I told him, I said, look, let's just get this healthy and I'm gonna make them look great. Just trust the process. So I told him, told him this was the procedure. We're gonna get a great deep cleaning. We're gonna take care of the cavities. I'm gonna do this internal bleaching for the two front teeth. What that is is it's a different process than just regular bleaching. You actually have to bleach internally inside the tooth and outside to really get that glow to from within the whiteness, not just to mask it. And it only applies if you have root canal teeth. So please, you guys, don't go and try to ask for internal bleaching on your live virgin teeth. This is only applies to root canal teeth. So when I told him, I said, look, I don't want to just crown the teeth either, because if I did, they would have kind of been a little kind of bucky, like sticking out. I told him, I said, look, let me just do the internal bleaching. Let me go ahead and put the fillings on side so you guys can see this is what it looks like after I did that. You see such a big change between the two? And I told him, I said, once we're done with all the cavities and all the crowns in the back teeth, let's do alignment. Let's go ahead and straighten them out really nicely. We're gonna do Sure Smile with him. I love Sure Smile. It's like a clear liner. Honestly, I think it's better than Invisalign and it's cheaper too, by the way. And I told him, I said, once we get them to placing, it's just like I said, furniture, then we decorate. That's how it works. We move the furniture and then decorate. And I'm so excited and he's so excited. I'm starting to see him change and loosen up and really start to smile and talk with his teeth, which is so important. You don't want to be talking like this. It just makes you look like you're miserable, which you probably aren't, but it just makes you feel that way. And so, I'm excited we're gonna cement his crown in this week and then we're gonna go ahead and start his sure smile journey. And that's gonna take about maybe six to eight months, it all depends how well he is. That's gonna be really on top of the procedure and the timeline. And once it is, he, we're done to that point where everything's placed the where it is. I'm gonna then place the crowns after it's custom shaded and, and maybe we might do another bleaching again. We'll decide. but. Once I do the placement, the crowns are gonna look so nice. In the end, I'm only gonna put two crowns in the front. I'm gonna keep all his teeth on the bottom and top, mostly the front, all his own teeth. And that's so important because then they're gonna last a lot longer. They're gonna be beautiful, easier to maintain, and less costlier in the long run. So if you guys are going through anything similar and you guys have questions, feel free to hit me up in my link I do a complimentary Zoom call, you guys. I'd be happy to help and share any advice, um, expertise, and that would just kind of guide you and then maybe see, maybe veneers are the better option for you or maybe just straighten your teeth and after you do the cleaning and fill up some cavities here and there, whatever it is, I'd be happy to help. So 
hit me up, you guys. I'm Dr. Rosie Smile, and follow for part two. I'm gonna document his journey so you guys can see the finale and see what a great outcome by just doing minimally invasive dentistry. That's so important. If you can, awesome, do it, because honestly, teeth are so amazing, and we really need our teeth to be able to eat and chew and function, you guys. Like I said, I always tell all my patients, the goal is I want you to keep your teeth until you die. So, peace out.